For Ernesto Bazan, Cuba and its people inspired a photographic exploration spanning over 25 years, sustaining marriage and parenthood, and surviving exile and return. His photographs of Cuba examine the complicated love and longing that he has felt for the island. They represent a rare, extended vision of a unique place and its people, among whom Bazan lived, loved, and worked. Bazan arrived in Cuba in 1992, just as the extended economic and humanitarian crisis referred to as the special period had begun. Some of his earliest photographs revealed the intensity and difficulty of life and the grim state of the country when he encountered it. The country was closed and chained and others had the key. Mario Conde. Despite difficult circumstances, many photographs from his early days and years in Cuba express Bazan's relationship with the country. They show the beauty of women, marriage, and birth, the generosity of children, and the glory and destitution of the capital and the countryside. Bazan's chromogenic color photographs of the tobacco-growing region of Pinar del Rio depict rural life both human and animal. They range from spare to luminous to grotesque, some tinged with intimations of mystery and threats of danger. In 2001, Bazan began using a panoramic camera. Each resulting picture offers an epic poem to life in Cuba. The vast scope of these images reveals the startling juxtapositions and intriguing narratives of Cuban life that attracted Bazan and never released their grip. Havana is melancholy, various different melancholies. There is here one for each one, all of them for all. Martin Caparros. Do I censor myself or let them censor me? This is the question. Alvaro. After photographing in Cuba for 14 years, living there with his wife and children for eight, and teaching photography workshops for six, on January 6, 2006, Bazan was summoned to a Havana police station and asked to discontinue his workshops. When he refused to give up his freedom to teach, he was forced out of the country. The damned circumstance of water everywhere. Virgilio Pinera. After 10 years and following a prophetic dream of sissies. In 2016, Bazan was allowed to return to Cuba just as inexplicably as he had been forced to leave. He photographed there for two weeks in July of that year and he returned on November 30th just five days after the death of Fidel Castro on November 25th. Bazan arrived at night in darkness, in a country seemingly in a constant state of mourning for its lost revolutionary leader. Bazan's recent Cuba photographs present the humanity and the threat of complicated political figures Che Guevara and Fidel Castro. More they highlight the contrast and ambiguity Bazan encountered upon his return to Cuba. In 2017, Bazan began producing color photographs of found objects and collaged images that represent the push and pull between native Cubans and visitors, feelings of hope and despair, memories of the past and visions of the future.